today I'm doing a little test. Um, something that we get lots of comments about with the 22 rimfire stuff that we shoot. Um, and that's generally I'm trying to shoot long range in most of the stuff we do, or we end up shooting long range in even our little ELR course, we end up shooting over 500 yards. But certainly when we shoot in the longer shots, whether it's 900 yards or up to 1,000 yards and, and all the different longer stuff, people say, why do you use supersonic ammo? Why do you use the Velocita ammo, which is what I have here, which is the, the sort of fastest stuff that I can easily get access to, well, semi-easily, at 1435 and a 40 gram projectile. Why do you use that? Because you should use the subsonic ammo, which then doesn't have to go through the transonic zone, so then doesn't get to tumble, so then it'll be more accurate. Now, I've done a fair few, countless, videos or countless times I've explained the fact that with the right sort of balance in your bullets with lots and lots of bullets actually don't have that problem some do but it's really stuff that is closer to the edge of stability or pushing some boundary once it goes and hits the transonic zone or the the, the second um, sonic boom that then can cause it to lose stability but the majority of good bullets decent bullets don't have that problem and with the 22 stuff, the simple thing we went through and tested right back in the beginning when trying to stretch out a 22 was what worked and what didn't work. What didn't work. What I found with that right back then was that the 40 grain stuff tended to be okay. Um, the the likes of the the high high velocity stuff in the 30 grains and that type of thing they tended to not want to travel more than 200 yards. They'd lose stability and mess around. Like I said, they were obviously bullets that weren't so stable. So I found stuff that did work quite well and didn't have any issues. But that doesn't stop the um, the, the naysayers. So um, I still found it to be pretty accurate, and that's what I've used. Today I thought I'd do a pretty simple little test and actually see. Um, to verify what we'd already seen, but to actually show people on target what actually happened. So what did I do here? Well, I brought out this little overkill of a 22 long rifle. Um, this is just a CZ455. Um, it's just got a custom bolt knob on it. The trigger pressure has been backed off a little bit in it. It's in this ACC MDT chassis. Uh, which is made to take those, those little things, a great little sort of crossover rifle or trainer rifle for your PRS and that sort of stuff. But it's a full, full solid chassis, so nice on that score. Got one of my bag rows on the bottom of it. It's got one of my big ELR scopes on it. And then one of the, the um, I've forgotten the brand, the PRS, I think it is in the, um, in the uh, Atlas bipods on the front. But that's it. So it does a good, good job. This is shot out to a thousand yards. But it does a good job when we've done all the courses and things with it. So I took this little rig out um, and then four lots of ammo. The normal standard velocity I normally use. Um, as I find it nice and accurate in most things, it's what it used to have a little target on it. It doesn't have a little target on it anymore. There's the new boxes. But it works quite well. 40 grain, um, 10, yeah, 10, 70 feet per second. So it works quite nicely in that score. I also brought out some stuff, which is um, SK um, match ammo. This is oily, supposedly very accurate ammo. I don't use it very much. I got it years and years ago. Um, found that it was pretty good, but I didn't find a lot of difference in the stuff I've shot, so I don't try and use it. But I brought out some match ammo. I also brought out, I think that's the same sort of speed. That's the 1050, that neck of the woods, the subsonic stuff. Um, I also brought out the first level of hyper match ammo. This is gold metal, uh, basically 40 grain, in running 1200 feet per second so this is just on the edge of supersonic and has to go through that transonic zone probably at about 30 yards 40 yards sort of stuff so if it's going to be affected it's going to be really affected I'll tell you the distance of the shot in a minute um, and then the 1435 the Velocita so I did some got onto target I saw all the normal differences you'd expect a lot less MOA needed for the Velocita versus the standard velocity um, but everything was according to that as it was we've got about the five to well, three to sort of five maybe eight miles an hour of wind coming across there and there's a little bit of variance between the shots but it still gave us a good idea and the distance well I'll range it for you right as we are this is a little sig kilo yeah, 300 and 300 yards. It's a little SIG Kilo um, 2400 ABS unit, but just using the laser ranging finding of it um, is the distance to our target out there. So, what we saw, and what we'll put on the groups, and I'll shorten it all up so you can actually see. Hand target. Yep. 
Uh, one of those. No, I'll just do one of these. Right so this stuff shoots like. Right yet. Okay. Six o'clock. Just off bottom edge. Center. Just left the center. Six o'clock. Just off bottom edge. Well, that was that's pretty nice. Incoming. That's just standard normal standard velocity. Standard velocity. No, I'm going to take a chance that it's going to be about the same. Okay. I'm going to shoot to the top right hand corner. Okay. Here we go. There's a whole bunch in that one spot. Mm. Are you clicking it? Yeah. yeah. Okay. There we go. Okay, well, that's well, pretty much like the original group. Okay, so this should be sort of high. Right out of the target. Crosshairs oh, yeah. on. Ready? Yep. Okay. One, two, three. Okay, that's him. Okay, so. I've got to try and get it on target and over in that little spot there. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see where this goes. Right. good yeah what we started with was the the subsonic match ammo um, I think the wind is a little bit calmer it shot quite nicely out there but probably into around a 10 inch group we can I'll put measurements on the groups as they show up um, spread out a little bit and really get to the point where the standard velocity is starting to run out of pace it's come down coming down on a fair bit more of an angle and a lot of it still goes on hits the target makes a nice little clang and that sort of stuff it's getting to where the conditions affect it more so different air pressure and that sort of stuff really affects it and if you find if you ever tried hunting or shooting at things with standard velocity ammo you'll see that same sort of thing it doesn't take much of a condition change in your holdover changes um, and so that's exactly what we're seeing with that the um, standard velocity performed about exactly the same I think the wind had got back to standard it's a little bit more of a sideways spread but the same sort of overall size on the group it, exactly the same thing as where there's difference I'm sure and a lot of people go on with a lot of differences for their ammo or ammo in their rifle and that sort of stuff and no doubt I've not found a lot of difference with that sort of stuff they performed about the same 
The next step up, now this is going into if the transonic zone and tumbling bullets and all that sort of stuff that people are frightened about or concerned about um, is of any effect we would have seen a big difference to this stuff here. And you'll see on the group there that really was smaller, shorter, it was a smaller group um, and that was otherwise the, the sideways spread and very much wind based like I said uh, but that really affected, that really improved things simply the fact the bullet is going faster and the transonic zone really didn't affect anything. There isn't any tumbling or anything which hopefully that says something to people. This would have had to go through that zone at at best um, 50, 60 yards from the muzzle maybe a little closer at that neck of the woods so that's when it went through a second so that that second sonic boom um, and so if it was affected at all there's a long way for that to have varied so it should have shown up and then the one that this this is the Velocita which coincidentally was the best group out there and through the simple reason that it's going faster so it is less condition based um, I, I generally find in that group perform very much like this stuff does the odd occasional one was a little bit low or a little bit high, but the, the large the group body was the closest. I put that down to two things. I think that the way they are loaded, with, with such a small amount of ammo, of powder, even though it's um, a large amount for a 22, it only takes a tiny, tiny grain difference, or you know, 0.1 of a grain difference, is going to make quite a bit of difference to the overall bang. 0.1 of a grain in a in a 90 grain um, case is you know 0.1% um, whereas 0.1 of a grain in a and I don't know how many grains these things are done up with I'll have to measure it at some stage but probably in the two grains or something like that is more like 1% or 2% and that's exactly what we see out there the other side of it is the bullets are not the most beautiful shaped bullet so there's going to be a little bit more in the way of the deviation of that side of things through the shape of the bullet and how it flies through the air but still, without question, and I hope that shows to people that once we go into the long range stuff, not only do we not run as much elevation, so we can actually do it in a normal sort of scope setup, and not only is it that the, the, the because it's traveling faster, it's less time in the air, so there's less conditions to do it, but that extra speed actually is helping more energy out there and definitely performs the best group that we've seen out of it now if we could get match ammo which I think there is some stuff we don't have access to it but if we could get match ammo for this sort of stuff with better bullets and better but all the de details of just going to that nth level it'd be better still but still the reason we use this velocity stuff is out there on those two targets anyway hope that makes sense um, thanks for checking in on us like, share, subscribe, all that sort of stuff. If you can support us, there's ways to do that sort of thing. Uh, this is just a bit of in info that we try and provide in all sorts of places on the channel. This sort of hopefully answers a little bit of that sort of stuff and certainly, well, hopefully it helps the people who are trying to do this sort of stuff and it stretch out to their 22s. This is why we do what we do. Um, and yeah, for us it works and hopefully that makes some sense. Catch you guys. See you next time.